shall be mine! Watch your back. The light protects me. Let's see, answering some common questions from chat that'll co keep popping up. Why no sap assassinate? It's because this is a control deck and there's a lot of zoo out there. So... Well, I mean, if it's a control deck, you could run assassinate. It's more of there is a lot of zoo out there and assassinate is overkill and sap doesn't do enough. Uh, there's not too many big things you need to sap slash assassinate in the current minigame, game, I think. If you have Nubian Egg and Backstab on turn 2, do you combo them? It's rarely correct, but it's possible there is some situation where that is correct. Never against Zoo, or never against anything that you can use the Backstab on. You want to activate the Egg by buffing it, and then trading. Abusive, trade that. Hmm, actually, yeah, I need to act, get this online. That's the only thing that'll kill it. And then I think I use the deadly. And I don't kill that this turn, so you can't hit me with a 4 4. Oh, and of course, I missed the most, uh, Prevalent question, if you could use legendaries, what would you play? It turns out that in this deck I wouldn't actually put in any, but cards that I would consider would be uh, roughly in this order. King Mufla, Cairn Bloodhoof, Ragnaros, Blood Mage Thalnos. Did I say Captain Greenskin? I think that was the first one. I'd also consider King Mufla in a more aggressive version. Oh, there goes all my cards. Here we go. I fight. But at least I'm leading the board against uh, Zoo. The problem is getting stuff to continue the fight. I wonder. Would I consider putting Perdition's Blade over Defias Ringleader? I wouldn't put it over Defias Ringleader, but I would consider putting a Perdition's Blade in there. The light protects me. Is Dark Iron Dwarf not in this deck because you don't want it to be, or because you haven't crafted it yet? It's because I currently can't find a card to cut for the Dark Iron Dwarf. It is a card to consider. We must cleanse the Sunwell. Basically, this deck as is is something that I could take to a tournament. Here we go. In the sense that it is the I fight. best deck of this type that I can think of at the moment. Yeah, so I used to have one sprint in here. I took it out since it was too slow. Though of course it would it would be awesome here, but that's a very rare circumstance. The card I replaced it with, Azure Drake, is even better in this situation. That's not entirely true. I actually happened to have so that, so sprint would have been better. Him. Here we go. Is abusive sergeant better than dark iron because there's a lot of zoo on ladder and is too slow? Uh, partly. It's more of so an egg comes out on turn awesome two, so you need to activate it on turn three. How are you going to do that? Maybe abusive sergeant, or you can coin egg into abusive sergeant. That said, I only have one Abuse of Sergeant here now. I decided that having too many early games was causing the late game to suffer, as you can see right now. My early game was quite strong, but then my late game suffered quite a bit. The 
The tough part. Your soul shall be mine. Watch your back. Well, so far, this is a tough series against both warlocks. Uh, I'm pretty convinced that this deck is quite bad against Handlock, and kind of just throwing that matchup out the window against Zoo. I would like this to be good. The common theme is I seem to be able to do well in the early game and then I run out of steam and then the opponent uses life temp. And it's because of that that I have two Gnomish Inventors and two Azure Drakes in here, but it doesn't work out the light protects me. sometimes. Get the spiders out. I There's some value to holding the spiders back as anti area of effect, but I think I would like to put more pressure on him since uh, he's a handlock deck which is starting off quick. So he can't really play the power of Twilight Drakes or Mountain Giants. My health total is likely not going to really matter in this game. Ooh, new bar ambush here. Nice big guy. Five, seven, eight, nine, ten, seven to eleven. <sighs> the matchup is quite bad, so risking it all, I think, is not absurd. I'm risking it all on two fronts here. I think I do want to backstab this, though. Just because uh, it makes the faceless less good. And then I have to think about whether or not I want to trade. Nah. Let's go for the face. And accept that terrible, terrible things could happen. One of those really bad matchups where it's like, ah, uh, you, know, you see an opportunity, go for it. Like any number of bad things could happen. My shield for Argon! On the grand scale of bad things that could happen, this thing is like almost negligibly bad, which is nice. Oh, top deck molten giant. Well, at least he played it in the wrong order. Hmm, darn. I was actually one short of lethal. So close. And the soul fire, I imagine. Wow. That was game, my lucky day.
Hmm. Backstab against Hunter. It's one of those maybes. The light protects me. Off to a fast start as always. The follow up is pretty lame. I mean, at least I have a three drop. Oh, that's pretty good. So, next turn I can uh, go two, three, four and kind of be super aggro, really. Let's see, based off what I've seen, it doesn't look like a super aggro deck. So, I'm going to. Uh, Take four in order to save the harvest storm. This is okay. Do I think one ambusher, one yeti would be better? Like I said, I'm still experimenting with this ambusher quite a bit. I don't know is the short of it. It's possible that the ambusher is terrible. That's what this testing is kind of for. It's also possible that the Ambusher is simply better in a different meta where there are more druids. They play their yeti, you play their your Ambusher. It's a lot better when it comes down to that. Was the pause on my backstab earlier, deciding whether or not to use it on the egg? No, it was whether or not to actually use it on a crocolisk, or to save it. Uh, this one actually. Because it has a... benefit when I play it. Hmm... This is uh, the deck at its best, when I actually draw the Gnomish Inventor and Azure Drake. And then I can keep going. Backspace Rogue handles this situation by playing Cold Light Oracle, which draws you two cards and puts cards in your opponent's hand. And in this case, Cold Light Oracle would also be quite good since the opponent clearly is not going to be able to play all six of these cards by the time the game ends. Two, four, eight, six, three, three. Well, this was a very clean kill. Here we go. I will fight with honor. Watch. Probably a control type paladin based on turn two guy. I fight. Control versus control. He's likely going to have the edge in the late game, but I do have the two card drawing cards. Reporting for duty. <laughs> the natural counter, rogue versus paladin. Your hero ability takes down two of theirs. It's really annoying when you're a paladin and that happens. Okay, there's actually no way to remove it, so there's no nothing I need to think about. Well, the only thing I need to think about is whether or not I want to play No Mission Inventor. The answer is no. I fight. My eyes are open. Reporting for 
duty. Here we go. I could actually use the abusive sergeant here. I will. <laughs> the guys keep coming. Here we go. A new bar ambusher. Pretty good here. Better than Yeti. Since if it dies, it returns uh, abuse of sergeant, and the stats are better. The better than Yeti test. I was thinking I could Defender of Argus and uh, kill it in one hit, which is pretty nice, but Backstab Eviscerate is even better. And this is really nice that I got all the card drawing cards. It actually will allow me to keep going. Alright, so I'm just gonna resign myself to wasting one mana. Kind of scary. Break it with SI7, save 6 health. That could be important because Ashbringer will do a lot of damage. Oh, although I can uh, save my new bar ambusher. If I break it and then I SI eviscerate 3 5, so that means I need to trigger with deadly poison. This is Here doable. We go. Hit, dagger, deadly. SI eviscerate. Oh, Golden Ashbringer. I think it's the first time I've seen one. Very pretty. If he hits my new bar ambusher, kinda sucks for me, but Oh wow, that really sucks for me. But at least these guys have Balakra. I think better for him would have been that not silenced. Two, five, six, seven. My shield for Argus. Okay, this does the most damage on this turn. Here we go. Get heal out of it. Hopefully I'll have enough damage to finish him. I will consecrate. True silver replaces Ashbringer. The desperation. It's not going to be quite enough, since I actually have one damage. That decision to silence the ambusher probably cost me the game. I'll keep the egg even if I have no enabler immediately. I think it's that good. There's no way I will Ruby and Egg backstab though. The light protects me. Or is there no way? There's probably no way. Why do you call? The light protects me. This is a pretty good start against Zoo. Backstab SI7. Uh. 
So I could backstab SI7, but those that would be dealing damage on non-essential targets. I think Harvest Golem is better. Now those are essential targets. So instead of killing a 1-2 and a 1-1, one, one, you get to kill a 3-2 and a 3-2. That is a really good turn on his side. Oh my gosh. That has got to be like the dream opening. <sighs> this guy's toast. Egg, the disappointment. One shot, one kill. Here we go. I think this is the first game out of many where Egg has been so bad for me, but. It happens. Here we go. Squire agent, harvest into assassins. Yeah, okay. The light protects me. Not great, but good enough. This guy's tough. How much respect do I want to show a Wrath of Air totem? Uh, for now it is unimportant. I, fight. I don't have anything that can be affected by spell damage. I don't like him throwing away that totem. Should take two to the face. Uh, let's see. I'll go Gnomish. Why he says scared momentum? I fight. So I can kill off this, um, Flame tongue immediately. The question is whether or not I should. If I play the Drake and then the Blade, then this Drake gets to do stuff. It's really a question of how bad could it be. The worst I could imagine happening is he protects it behind another Spirit Wolf, but he did just play one. I'll take the risk. Job's done. It seems obvious to assassins blade and kill off that totem, but it's currently not doing anything. 
The only way that can harm me is if he gets a taunt in the way. Which is either by chance or by wolf. Eviscerate on the 4-4 four four is pretty good. So, a new bar ambusher. Or you go egg egg, eviscerate. So many options. a bit of scared of fire elemental and attack. I have to buff the egg on a turn that and I'm going to use it. So I cannot play it now. I go Azure Drake and Dagger. And a hundred creeper. The Hippogriff is an amazing creature rarely seen outside the wild. The tricky thing about Hippogriffs is their incredible jaw strength. One terrible clamp up their beaks can rip a huge beast apart in seconds. Let's see what happens when I stick my hand... I have to make sure to tighten the tubes of my internets.